Hi, this is size 16 hawk and thread I'm using is white. Um, Trico thread is a very fine thread. You can use Ato, block any color, your own choice. Boxy thread and just start about here below the eye. The next material is white CDC. Two feather, same size and just uh, Catch them gently. Take your time. Couple of turn. Just check the length. And if you just get more happy with the length, you just bring it down. That's fine. Okay. And just take this extra actually from the top. Okay. The next material I'm using is this is a polypropylene floating yarn. And this is a grey color, dun color. Uh, but I'm using olive, so if you take a one strand off and uh, as you can see this olive color now what you have to do is just twist it create a kind of rope you know so twist it as much as you can both hand opposite until it gets really really tense and kind of stiff and Keep doing it. Now give it a good stretch and then both end and then you can see it's just uh, I'll just show you in a bit. See creates a rope and that would be our body for this midge. So the length actually three quarter of an inch pinch hold it tight and just secure it a couple of times and see what you think of the length if it's not this is too long then just wiggle it parking forward and alter it Thing that's best, and then take off this extra piece, add some wax on your thread, and secure. And for the huckle, I'm using Grizzly Cock Huckle. So, I'm just gonna take this piece off, just create a catching point. And gently secure this. Also, add a wax on your thread. And I'm using the synthetic synthetic soft dubbing. Just a pinch, not too much. This is a floating dubbing, it's really nice. And then bring your hako Sorry. I'm gonna just take one side off so I can get there. And just stroke them so they sit properly. Just keep going in the front. Okay, hold everything. 
there. Just uh, from the front now to secure everything and we finish. All you have to do is if you want to. So, this is your small spring olive midge pattern, very effective pattern. I've been catching a lot of fish on this one. I'll show you if I put my nail how small it is and I hope you enjoy this video thanks for watching